Hello everyone and welcome to the Burning Crusade Reputation Guide. Let's start right away with Alliance Honor Hold and its Horde counterpart Trollmar, both located in Hellfire Peninsula. You can gain reputation respected to your faction by completing their quests or running Hellfire Citadel. No, no, no not this one. Three dungeons located within Hellfire Citadel, Sheltered Halt, Hellfire Ramparts and the Blood Furnace. You can achieve Exalted by running Sheltered Halls on normal 14 times. Right as you step into Zangar Marsh, you are greeted by Sanaran Expedition. Delivering them loads of flowers, doing quests for them, or slaying bosses in Zangar Marsh dungeons like Underbog, Slave Bent, and Steam Walt will get you reputation. If you are having a hard time farming the reputation, you can always scout out which quests you haven't completed it yet, like the ones located in Hellfire Peninsula, Terracar Forest, Blades Edge Mountain, or even outside Outland in Borean Tundra. On the other side of Zangar Marsh, there are little mushroom like people who call themselves Sporgar. You can either kill mobs, collect glow caps for them in case your reputation is real low, or complete repeatable quests to gain reputation. The fastest way is to run the Underbug instant multiple t t times and do their repeatable quest located within. Even better, you can just buy 280 Sanguino Hibiscus on Auction House and repeatedly turn them in. In the west of Blades Edge Mountain, there is the ogre faction called Ogrilla. They, um, they, their currency is Apexus Crystals. Nope, guessed wrong, not the couple of thousands you have in your currency tap right now. Reaching Exalted with them will take you something about 28 to 30 days, and let's face it, is it really worth a tabard and a few appearances? Always wanted to go undercover and help the bad guys torture their slaves, poisoning workers and be rewarded with amazing nether drakes? Well, you can. The netherwing reputation is earned by helping orcs on netherwing lodge in Shadowmoon Valley. If you're only up for dailies, it will take you 14 days, but you can also collect eggs on Nethering Lodge to make your progress a bit quicker. It, if you want to only collect eggs, it will take you about 168 eggs, so okay, good luck. Before you'll be able to start all the daily quests and be able to turn in eggs, you will have to complete a quest chain from Mordenai located just outside Nethering Lodge. In Nagrand... No, no, the, the old one. In Nagrand there are three factions, Alliance Kurnai, Horde Maghar and the Consortium. Each of them will award you with reputation for 10 Obsidian War Beats that drop from the Ogres around Nagrand. You will gain additional reputation for every Ogre killed towards Kurnai or Maghar. There are also several quests you can do for each faction. The Consortium on the other hand will also let you turn in Zax's Insignia which drops from Zax's mobs in Netherstorm, but also for running Mana Tombs. And there is one trick you can do within. Simply get to the last boss, aggro him, and wait for his apprentice to spawn. Well, well AFK BRB! In Caverns of Time, you can farm two reputations. One is Keepers of Time that you can earn in Escape from Darnhall and Black Moras. It can be done in either one day by purely running normals, or just let Medivh dive on the last boss, which apparently does not work for some reason. Oh, oh, okay, okay. For Troll, you can get him killed on the second boss, which resets a couple of ads every time you do so. The other reputation is the Scale of the Sands, which is earned by running Hydro Summit Instance, either clearing it weekly, which will take you 5 or 6 runs, or once again getting Jaina killed by the first boss encounter, which will reset the wave counter. Next raid reputation is earned within Karazhan called the Violet Eye. Again, either running it weekly will get you exalted in 4 or 5 runs, or you can clear trash all the way up to the big dining area and reset the instance. Last one from Raids is Ashtang Deathworm reputation gained within the Black Temple. There's not much to reset unless you're real desperate, otherwise it will take you 5 to 6 runs to get exalted. Oh god no, no, not again. Oh. Well, I just got killed in the area where you farm Shatari Skygod reputation by simply killing loads of Arakura and completing repeatable quest chains. You might be interested in this one if you have nothing to do right now as it will take you only 2 to 4 hour max and there are some mounts as a reward. Next on the list is Shattered Sun Offensive. You can earn reputation by doing daily quests or running Mega Sarceris on normal, which will take you about 24 runs. In Shattered City, there are several factions that usually share the same means to earn reputation, starting with Lower City Reputation, which is awarded by running dungeons such as Shadow Labyrinth, Sedeg Halls, and Auction Crypt. About 21 Shadow Labyrinth runs will get you exalted. Other ones are the Alder and the Scryer, so you can pick only one of them since a completing quest for one side will make you hated by the other one. You can however gain Exalted on one of your other characters which awards you the achievement for having both sides Exalted. Anyway, gaining reputation is very similar for both sides. You simply turn in items depending on your choice. For Aldor, you will need 670 Kil'jaeden marks or 430 Sargeras marks if you are Honor already and 45 Fell Armaments. Same goes to Scryers, just with different resources. To get Exalted, you will need 670 Fire Ring Signets or 430 Stunfire Signets, if you are a Nord already, and 45 Arcane Tomes. All of these items can be bought on the Auction House. 
Last of Shatrath's reputation is the Shatar. You can obtain this reputation by turning in mentioned quests, but only enter Honard. Then you will need to run Tempest Keep dungeons which are Botanica, Arcatross and Mechanar. Running these dungeons also award before mentioned quest items that can be turned in to raise your Aldor or Squire reputation. And lastly there is Tronculian, Horde only reputation located in Ghostlands. Gaining reputation only through quest will easily take you our max. To those wondering why is there no alliance counterpart there is and those are winterspring trainers to make up for Horde having one less reputation than alliance in vanilla. When the Burning Crusade Time Monkey okay event takes place, you can speed up your progress with buying commendations for Time Monkey okay badges. Each of them will cost 50 Time Monkey okay badges, meaning you will need 84 of them to get from neutral to exalted, making the total cost to beat 4200 Time Monkey okay badges perfection. Not every faction has a commendation available though. You can only buy Honor Hold or Tramar, Consortium, Keepers of Time, Lover City and Chitar commendations. If you are looking for even more information, you can find the text format of this guide in the description, containing approximate time to reach Exalted, items you can obtain and useful links. Thank you for watching and have a nice farming. Blades at Mountain, Blade, Blah, Blah, Slave Pants and Steam Mold will get the... Okay. There are little mushroom people like... Mushroom like people, oh. But also for running Mana Storms. Mana, mana Storms? Really? Mana, mana Storm?